What's going on everyone? Welcome to the next part of my GTA 4 playthrough. In this part, we're gonna start working for Phil Bell. So as you guys do remember, uh, we met him a little bit while back when we were working for Ray. And just like Ray, he kind of works for the uh, Pegarino family. So Phil is actually one of my favorite characters in GTA 4 story and eventually you guys will see why. Um, but let's get into this part though. If you aren't already, make sure you be subscribed, put on post notifications, and drop a like if you do enjoy. All right, this mission is called Truck Hustle. Uh -huh. All right, so we got to get this heroin or these drugs for the uh, or from the triads. All right, so here we are. The truck is located in this alley. So now we just got to wait up here for the uh, triads to do this deal. Now, obviously, the triads were obviously not part of this deal. You know, we're obviously just going to be stealing the truck from them because they're going to be doing a deal with somebody else. So now we just got to wait for them to show up and do this deal. the truck all right now we gotta steal the truck let's go Come on. Yeah, more people do eventually show up. We got that guy in the car. Finally, I got that guy. All right, let's move on. Got right, this guy right here. Guy back here near the fence. Let's get this guy. I don't see where this other guy's at. Oh, okay. Yeah, for some of the enemies, they're not on the map at all. Oh, this guy's getting in the truck. I don't think we can kill him. Yeah, because it's like it's like a second part to the mission. So now we gotta chase the truck. Alright, so he tries to escape with the truck. So now we gotta jump onto the back of it, basically. But we gotta run up. Come on, come on. He doesn't go too fast, so he can catch up. There we go. All right, so we got a test space repeatedly to pull himself into the truck's roof. There we go. 
Now, this is the part of the mission that gets really, I guess you could say fun, but also like a bit scary because you don't want to fall off like that. What have I got myself into? You gotta like call yourself to the front, but it's like oh, uh, all the turns and stuff. Come on, let's go. Never simple, easy. Now, where's he turning? Okay. Oh, come on, come on. Alright, let's go jump up. Damn oh, it! I didn't mean to fall off there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's see if I can crawl. Come on, come on. We just gotta get to the front cab with a truck. There we go. I've got the complaint about your driving, <laughs> asshole. There we go. Alright, now we just gotta take the truck back. Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with it? It's a wedding present for my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house where he'll see the head damage. You know the one I mean. All right, so we got the heroin. Now we just gotta drop it off to one of his uh, supposed red relatives that are living in Alderney. It's actually in this uh, little park right here with this big old mansion. But uh, this story though of the heroin is not over yet. Obviously, we have it, but we have to you know sell it to make money. So this is kind of just part one of the mission that will continue on with it um, as well in future missions. So here's the house right here. Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Yeah. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Alright, so Frankie's gonna deal with that heroin and get it ready for us. I think we should have another film mission ready. All right, we got 11,000 from that. That's one of the best payouts for sure. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully, he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardpack. He'll call you. All right, so he's talking about those like a uh, payphone assassination missions. You know, we also have those in like uh, GTA 3 as well, even in GTA Online. So it's kind of like side missions that aren't really part of the story, though. But he is located in Alderney, and I think it's a total of maybe like 10 of them. All right, we got a call from Phil. Nico, I told Jimmy P about you. He wants to meet you. Has he got work? Yeah, he's got stuff that needs doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead and West Dyke. All right, now we're about to go meet uh, Pegarino yeah. finally. We heard a lot of things about him from Phil, from Ray, from a lot of people, but now it's actually Wait, time to need... officially meet Pegarino. All right, so let's head over to his this nice mansion over here. as far as I can here. go, okay? Okay, he also is located in Alderney. For the rest of the characters, or at least not all of them, but some of them that we unlock, now they will be located in Alderney. All right, so this is Pegarino's mansion. All right, he needs to wear smart clothes and smart shoes. Oh yeah, yeah I forgot about that. Okay, so we'll just go over to the store real quick. Uh, thanks a lot, Phil. Now you tell us. Yeah, I forgot. You gotta, you gotta look respectful for uh, you know, Pegarino. All right, here we are. We finally have some smart clothes. All right, this mission is Pegorino's Pride. <coughs> yeah? I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him? Or maybe all three? It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah, I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With so guys like, like a, you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. 
You, Nick? Come on. Peg! What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Ah. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends. I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's gonna be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't gonna push. Anthony, get in here! Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, <laughs> give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak uh, with Pegorino. Hey, what, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss, salve. Get up. <laughs> Sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. All right, so we're gonna be security for Pegorino while he has this little, I guess, talk or deal. Uh, with the other uh, family, so he wants to be more respected, but as of right now, he is not. Yeah, we gotta wait for Pegorino here. What are you waiting for? Hit him! Let's go! All right, so we gotta go to the old refire refiring. So us and then um, the other two in the back are going to be like security for Begarino. You guys all friends now? Nice. You best hope you made a good first impression on Nico, boys. He's gonna be the one looking out for you during this meet. Well, he's being paid to look out for me, so saving you guys' asses would be overtime. <laughs> That's just if the shit goes down, right, boss? The Pavanos wouldn't fuck with you. Wake up, you fucking mook! Everybody's trying to fuck everybody. We're just hoping they got the manners to smile to our faces before they do it. You giving them a nice little offering, though, Skip. They ain't gonna turn up their noses at that. God, give me strength. It's like I'm dealing with children here. No wonder I ain't on a commission when my muscle is this stupid. If the Pavanos is a Liberty City family, what are they doing coming out to Alderney for this meet? I let them operate out here from time to time. The manners work a little shy business on this side of the West River. They also control a few bookies. I don't mind them taking a bite. I don't even make them give me a taste. Hopefully they're gonna respect that when it comes time to ask of them for a favor. You can't be too confident if you've got me here. Your insurance. I'm the captain of this ship because I look at every possibility. Check to make sure my ass is covered in each situation. I think about what's gonna happen if this guy screws me, if this one turns states, and so on. That's why you're the boss, boss. Shut up! Jesus, you're worse than my mother. Anyways, that's why Ray ain't ever gonna make it to the level he wants to reach. He's too busy thinking about himself. That diamond fuck up his case in point. I'm like a fucking chess player. Yep. You're covering me for six moves ahead when me and the Pavanos is just putting our first pawns out there on a checkerboard. Ah, I like what you did there, Skip. 
real clever. Can you do me a favor? Can you just shoot <laughs> yourself to save me the trouble of doing it? Can you, Marco? Jesus! Gosh, he hates them so much, but they are protecting him, though. Give him the rifle, right Marco! Here. You expect him to start throwing empty cans from up there if this thing kicks off? Alright, so we're gonna be no a sniper way, uh, from, uh, go. from a high point. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason. All right, let's go up to that roof. So Pecorino is completely unsure if this deal is going to go good, so we're just going to be there to protect them in case it doesn't. And you guys know it's GTA, so it's not going to go good. Alright, so we gotta go to the vantage point, which is in this random old building. So we got the sniper as well, too. I think this might be a different one from the one I usually use. But let's go up here, though. It's just a couple steps. I think there's also body armor up here, too, from what I remember. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, no, there's not. Never mind. Alright, so there's Pegorino and the other two guys. Just gotta focus on protecting Pegorino for the most part. Here's the Pavanos. Alright, they didn't go good, so we gotta protect Pegorino. Yeah, come on. All right, Pegorino. Yeah, he ended up getting shot. And then the other two guys that were protecting him did end up getting killed as well, too. So let's just say it was a good decision that he picked us to come on this. Because if not, Pegorino definitely would have died at this meet. All right, I think we got to go down now, maybe. So I don't want to jump out of this window. Hold on. Let's see, there's somebody else on Pegorino. Alright, yeah, we gotta go down there. Alright, we don't have that much health, but I think we will be fine, actually. Just gotta stay back more. But we also gotta make sure we're protecting Pegorino. Oh, what is this? Okay. Alright, there should be some health or some body armor around somewhere, anyways. Alright, let's go to Pegorino, though. Oh my gosh. Got more than spawn. Take over here. Yeah, we're basically surrounded by all these guys. All right. Um. Let's go. Let's go. My camera so far. Oh, okay. I was wondering where the guy was. So we got him. Got another one right here. All right, there is. All right. Got them. We got this guy right here. There should be some type of health somewhere. Oh, we got this guy. I didn't even see him. Could have killed me. But that's not happening. There right, we go. Body armor, finally. Back up, back up, back up. Come on. Okay, so Pegorino went to go hide over here. Alright. Yeah, he got shot. The fucking Pavanos! If the rest of the commission knew they did this... I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers try to whack me at a sit down. All right, we got They're trying the to make off with my tribute. Out. The fucking nerve. We're gonna ice those fucks. Right, we gotta chase him down. We got the offer. All right, I think we can end up uh, shooting out the tires, maybe. But I don't think we can end up killing him that early because it's like a whole sequence part. Yeah, they don't really have to kill any of them. Actually, we got him. Oh. There we go, okay. Alright, here we go. Right, we gotta get out of here. But there's more that's gonna show up. Fucking what? 
Uh, all right, let's take this road over here. We're just going the way around. It's a bunch of little smiles. I can't and believe that Pavanas will treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alderney. Even if it don't, then Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only That's start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position. Either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them to be. Only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pegarinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus! You see, that's the problem with Pegarino. He just hires anybody that he sees out the street, doesn't do like a full check on them. Alright, just like Marco and Pete, you can see, really doesn't care. Even though Marco and Pete were loyal to him, they cared about him, and they wanted to protect Pegarino, but they ended up dying at this meet. And he just doesn't care about them at all. And he's saying, oh, he'll just, you know, hire anybody just to protect them again. It's like, that's the problem. That's why nobody takes him serious. Nobody uh, respects him or anything like that. Because he's just not hiring the right people. He's not being serious about this. And that's why he has so many rats in his, uh, his community ish. If he wants people to respect them and he wants people to not rat on him, he has to find the right people and actually, you know, make sure that they're the good and right people. What if Nico was, you know, the rat or just betrayed? Pegrino, but obviously we know he isn't. Well, at least he did a full-on check, though, on Nico. You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes, literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. Right, we got ten thousand five hundred for that. Honestly, I feel like we should have got more. Um, and a bit more respect for him as well, because not only did we save his life, um, but we actually took him back to his house. He could have ended up dying from that gunshot wound. But there should be another call or text. Oh, there we go. I got two messages. Let's see. All right, that was, what was it? That was little Jacob. Okay, but we should be getting some type of text or a call pretty soon from Phil or Pegarino. All right, there we go. We got a text from Pegarino. He said, you did well last time. Come see me. All right, we're not too far from his house. I just like walk down a little bit down here. We're almost close to 300,000 by the way in this game. We're at 297,000. So probably the next uh, job or mission, whatever we do, we'll be there. All right, this mission is payback. Hey. Uh, who you waving at? <laughs> Feds, I think. They always drive past at this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to slay him. <laughs> Jackasses, all of them, all of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Is Mr. Pegorino around? Uh, uh sure, I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? <laughs> In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm -hmm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. <laughs> you too. I got a couple of things Such a I want bad to talk bodyguard. To you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen. We got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that at your meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an Alden A bookie ring. 
Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them, and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanas real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you. All right, we still got a problem with the uh, Pavanos, obviously. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, kill them while they're going over to this meet. So now they're at this diner. Let's see, he said it's an actor, I think it was. All right, so it's not too far. All right, let's just get a car and we'll head over there. Oh, there's actually a car right here. I didn't remember. All right, let's get that. Let's go over to that uh, location. All right, here we are. Works for the Pegorinos. Mm. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose them on the way to the meet. You can see how much they don't take us serious at all. He, like, you could just see in his voice how he does not care that we're working for the Pegorinos. But he did realize this, but we got chased them to the meet, so we can't end up killing them here. Alright, I hope I picked the right car for this. It's not that slow of a car. What car is this again? The, uh, yeah, the PMP 600. Alright, I think you can end up killing the passenger, but you can't kill the driver. Because the driver, I don't think, shoots at you. I mean, yeah, the driver doesn't shoot at you. Plus, the main focus is getting over to the place. Damn! <laughs> yeah, this is a whole crazy scene. Crashing into a bunch of people and everything. Motorcycles everywhere. Breaking walls. I think I ended up... Okay, he, okay, he did die, I think. I don't, I don't know. So much is just going on right now. Let's go. I already go to here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, it's over here. Okay, hold on. Skirt. I right, take them all out. Using a rocket launcher would make this really easy, but let's make it more interesting. Cause you know, one rocket would just kill every single one of them. And just explore all the cars and everything. All right, but there's not that many uh, people at this meet, anyways. All right, can you can you show yourself? Got him. It's like two more left. It says there's two people right here. Oh, we gotta store the cars. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay. We were just on the ground, that's why. Got a bunch of Alderney cops on us. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, hold on. I won't be able to get out of here. We're going on foot. Going on foot. Uh, let's go through here, I guess. Got a lot of cops. Got a freaking three star. Alright, that's not bad. Alright, we'll just steal this car over here. The good old faction. Alright, but that's really it for the mission. You just gotta wipe them out once they get to the meet. It's not too far of a chase, I guess. Um, but either way, after this uh, this meat takedown that we just had, they still don't take the Pecorinos that seriously. And that's what um, Pecorino wants. He wants you know people to respect him. He wants to be in the commission, but that's just not happening with the way he's operating. Susie's cops. Alright, there's a paint spray up here. Forgot about that. Alright, as long as they don't see us going into it, we'll be good. Alright, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I don't really use the paint spray that much in GTA 4. Oh, I hope they didn't see me. Alright, we're good, we're good. I thought the helicopter saw me for a second. Alright, now we should lose them. There we go. Alright, and that is it. We should be calling up uh, Pecorino pretty soon. We're about to head over to Phil, though. We have another mission for him. There we go. I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy! 
I hope you made them suffer. Take some that ball that is Cacarino turn. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste of it. And something up the ladder. That's how us Italians been doing things for centuries. Good thing I'm not Italian. Right, so now we also have three hundred thousand dollars. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, they're not gonna take the Pegarino seriously even after that. All right, catch the wave. So now we're meeting up with uh, Phil over here. Hey, Tommy, club. check this out. Seven holes, seven race. Hey, Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for yeah, him. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, no, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's the slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> Sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about <laughs> Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. Gabish. He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit, it's three days early. Man on the meal, what am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico, I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay. Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Kafka Lab. Drive us there. All right, let's go over to the truck. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're whacked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's a bad survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization pulled down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the... All right, this is the truck. All right, I didn't mean to cut off the conversation there. All right, but it should continue it, though. Here's the truck that we're stealing. Why we need this truck? It must be a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't hmm. know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Yeah. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't. And I ain't neither. 
That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife, there ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, that well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna head over to Charge Island, and we're not gonna be exactly really doing a deal. We're just gonna get rid of the Russians that are there, because obviously, if you're trying to do a deal with them, it definitely will not go good. So Charge Island is pretty much just uh, down here. Just gotta let me see. We gotta pass the toll first and just go down. But like Phil was saying, though, if you ever got caught, hold on, let me pay the toll first. Oh shit! No, it's going too fast. Come on. All right, that's fine. We'll lose them down here. But like Phil was saying, though, if you ever got caught. With all this, uh, you know, coke, we would be in prison for a long time. Alright, let's go down there. I didn't mean to move too fast at the toll. But we should be good. There's not too many cops that should be on Charge Island. Alright, there we go. Let's able to lose them. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. We'll see about that. Alright. So here we are, the boatyard. The Russian drug runner is using the boatyard to smuggle cocaine into the city. I mean, I guess this could be an interesting good place. The coke is brought on in on speedboats from Vice City and has not been unloaded. Or not yet has been unloaded. Well. The boatyard is heavily guarded. The element of surprise will be crucial. Alright. Hey! Buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Yep. They're obviously not going to do this deal with us. Now we got to watch out. So now we need to got to fight through this boatyard. Oh my gosh, but yeah, there's a lot of enemies on this mission, so you gotta watch out. But there is uh, explosive barrels, though, I remember. So it does help by a little bit. Right, we got a few of them up here, I think. There we go. Some guy. Let me just move over here. Here we got this guy right here. Come on, come on. I think oh, we got another one up here. I don't want to move in because I don't even have that much health. Right, we got more of them coming up. Got another one up here. Right, let's move back here. There should be some. Yeah, there we go. Body armor. Should be some health somewhere around here, too. Yeah, so, stuff is on the boat. So, we're about to get over there. Gotta get rid of these guys first. I think there's a guy up here. Yep. Oh, oh, that's Phil. Okay. I was like, who's shooting the pistol? Alright, he's taking one on the right, he said. Alright, body armor as well here. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright, now we gotta go to the Coke boat. And then we gotta follow Phil. Can I take a seat, please? That's kind of bugging out. There we go. We're heading to the docks in North Holland. Move out. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right, there might be some guys that start chasing us. I don't really remember. Let's watch out, though. North Holland, that wasn't too far. I think it's just up here, hey, really. Hey, hey, oh, yeah, busy. there's some people. Yep. They're kind of hitting me a little bit. Come on. I'm trying to mainly get a drivers if I can. I got that guy. Come on, we can get him too. Come on, come on. I think we got 
there we go. Alright, it says the attacker's like been up, followed about to drop off points. So it's not that many people that try and attack us, really. It's really easy to just get rid of them. Alright, here we are. We're in the Northwood Heights Bridge, so we're almost there. Phil go in front because <laughs> I kind of forgot exactly where the docks are for the one in Northwood. I think it's up here. I think it's this one right here. Is it? Okay, it's more over here. Oops. Okay, it's more over here then. keeps like moving so slow so like I end up going in front of him. Where is it? I keep forgetting exactly where it is. But that's really the end of the deal though. We obviously escaped with the uh, the cocaine. Okay, there it is. Uh, I think we can just go here, do we? Yeah, okay. yourself real good back there kept your head that's a valuable trait thank you see you later all right they put the coke in the back of the van and now they're out phil seems to respect us um, i think at first he wasn't gonna do this uh this deal with us but you know since it just came up at that time he just decided to kind of test us out and see what type of person we were and he did good all right seven thousand five hundred dollars for that pretty good pay i would say now we have some missions for Phil and Jimmy. Alright, but I'm probably going to end this part here though. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. In the next part, we'll probably continue on with the uh, Phil missions and maybe Jimmy as well. And I think we'll also finish up with Jerry's missions in the last part. I think it's only one. Um, it should be the Diamond deal. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If you did enjoy this part though, make sure to be subscribed and put up post notifications. Hold on, we got a call from Ray. So Nikki, you and the package get close, they think. He's got work. He paid. That's about it. Yeah? You remember who made the introduction? Remember who brought you in? Don't you forget about me. If you want to pass something up to me, pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but, uh, hey, at least it's tax-free. <laughs> If uh, Ray is just trying to get really like close to like the peg, and he's kind of a bit jealous that Nico already is. Oh, that was sick. Oh, anyways, yeah, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy, though, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.